Okay, we're going to give you a video log of a 1960 Shasta. So I've got some issues on the front. Most of the issues on the front. Uh, you see that I have a pretty good dent in the upper driver's side. It runs along into here. The bottom pan is in pretty good shape. This piece of metal here was bent clear out because it was in a pasture and there had been cattle rubbing on it, I believe. Got a little hole here. Silicone. Little hole here that's indicated pretty well on the inside. Uh, so most of the issues with this trailer are on the front of the trailer. We have another hole up high over there. Hasn't been siliconed yet. These windows. This one isn't hooked to the crank. As you can see, the mechanism is gone. But it stays shut when you put it in. This one here, the crank works. The screens are in both of them. Look original. You can see down the side, they have a pretty good, nice trailer. Straight. Right here is, uh, I believe, where they covered up where the furnace came out. Here's a little hole. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, nice crank out window works. Nice and straight. I think this is either original glass or this one could be plexiglass. I'm not sure. It feels like plexiglass to me. Come around the back end. As you can see, the top's been sealed with some kind of stuff seems to be in pretty good shape the windows both crank out open up nice there's been a bumper put on I'm sure later uh, there's a little dent here and here one down low not too bad on this side as you can see is really straight also still see the arrows where they painted them on I believe that was original the other side you can see it really well let me show you that again from a distance sorry about the motion cool looking we have this side the windows crank out good bottom somebody screwed those both those bottom ones together the door has hit here before so it's made a hole the door is a little bit rough but it shuts well uh, I'm saying it shuts and stays shut well all the original parts are there I, I believe there used to be a screen in here there isn't one now as you can see we got some issues here not too bad for 52 years old. Shooting down the side. Really straight. It's got a little issue there. Not terrible. Good hitch. Two jacks. Propane tank. The propane connections are all there. I'm showing you this before I clean it up detail wise. You can see that 95% of the tile work is there. We have magazine racks. Really cool cutouts here with these original slides are both in there and they're in good shape. Put that here. Here's your issue on the inside. Uh, as I said on the post, most of what's going to happen with this trailer if you do a total restoration will be on the front inside and out to make it perfect especially inside but not a lot of paneling work because look at the rest of this you got some discoloration in the corners but the everything is really solid as you can see you've got the liar shape cut out here too the door needs screwed on I'm not sure if it came with this 
mirror originally. You can see also that they used to have a hammock and it's not there anymore. One of the pieces that's missing. Here's your stove, countertop, oven, two drawers, two drawers here. This is where I believe somebody pulled the furnace out and put a piece of a pretty nice piece of paneling there, but it still uh, would be an, what, what I would call an issue because the furnace is missing and you can heat the whole trailer with the stove. Closets, good space, good shape. Cabinets, all the shelves are there and they need tacked down. Somebody covered them with shelf paper, but they uh, look like it'll come off pretty easy. There's the front table, cool. Got the chrome trim around it. Bunk is in good shape. Pretty nice trailer for this age. The sink has been unhooked underneath. So all we have is copper pipe down there. And the roof vent seems to be good. That's my shoulder, it's in the way, sorry. We have pretty good ceiling. I don't know whether this is a new piece of paneling that somebody put on later. If, they, if it is, they sure did a good job. The bunk folds down pretty well. I can see some discoloration in the corners. Some water got in there some year. Uh, but all in all, pretty dang good trailer for the age.